We are on day two at the Timber Frame Ranch, home of the mountain man himself, Les Graham. We got one last log to mill up here. I can't get too far away from Zach because we're connected by a cord. Uh, this one's pretty interesting. It has some, uh, some metal staining from a barbed wire fence that was put in, I don't know, 100 years ago. So we'll show you that as we're going through this uh, log. Right now we're getting the dividends of that. So we're gonna start milling it up. Yesterday went well. Yesterday was a little bit of a learning curve, uh, but I think we're finding our stride. Well, Les is working in the other barn. I'm not sure what his opinion is on getting the floor wet. So we're gonna be a little subdued in our, our pour here. Very fun. I tell you what, I thought that the the metal in, uh, striations from the barbed wire fence were gonna go a lot further that way, but they sure didn't. Well, I got some beams on the uh, saw horses. Saw horses have not buckled yet. Very good sign. I got some tools of the trade over there. I went to Menards. I went off of memory of YouTube videos I've watched on people doing timber frames. Got this bad boy. This is gonna make going through the beams a little easier. The eight by eights, I was having a, a little bit of a head scratching moment. Granted, this probably would have worked. It's a 10 inch saw, so you can get through about three and a half inches of material per time. One of these for making peg holes. One of these, because I've seen these in, on the, hanging on the walls of a lot of people who do woodworking. Kind of my vision for it. It's been a little tricky figuring out, yeah, where the roof ends here, how this all ties together to look seamless and nice. And I think I have enough timbers for what I'm looking for. These are, these five are spoken for. Two legs and then uh, three gable pieces. And then we have our huge beam over here. And then some other miscellaneous boards. Not to beat a dead horse, but this beam, I tried moving. I just tried sliding it and it took every ounce of my strength to slide it two inches over. And now I'm trying to just flip it one turn. It is very difficult. However, since I don't have the appropriate tool for this, I'm using a ratchet strap and a pylon. And I think that if I just keep the tension here, uh, should be able to get a mechanical advantage. Please, just do. I can honestly say I thought that was gonna go a lot better. I've never seen one go that bad. I've watched a lot of videos and they all seem to go better than that. Perfect. Have you ever seen a more beautiful tendon? Wait, tenon in your life? My process is not very traditional. I'm now using this saw exclusively, basically. 
and that saw is all. I just cut this, and then I cut as far through this as I can get. So on the next one, I'm just gonna cut the end square so I can use that as a better reference for the giant saw. That was kind of hard. Drill it out a bunch of times and then uh, use the chisel. The chisel is hurting. It was, uh, I don't know if it was designed for that. I think it's actually got a bit of a bend in her now. Just when I was getting into the zone, 1,100 pounds per sawhorse, my eye. I just adjusted one log a little bit and then it, my whole world came around. Fortunately, I shifted out of the way before they crunched my foot. I don't think it was overloaded, unless it was 1100 per pair, then we were, we were flirting with that. But they're not gonna work anymore, for sure. Now I know why people who do actual timber framing have very heavy duty sawhorses. We are making progress. I have, uh, I got the long end of the stick where I'm in a relatively cool shed and it's very warm outside today. Sorry, Charlotte and Zach, but it's working out good for me. We have uh, a lot of mortise and tenon done. I think they all fit. I've kind of dry fitted them. So these are the two legs, the, the posts on each side. So this, from what I'm looking at right here, is the big beam that goes across the front with two posts going down to the concrete. Tis another day. And uh, just a quick little update. I am toiling away on this and finally have one of these pieces. It is in there pretty good. Just got to drill out for the peg. Well, we're on a new day of fiddling and chiseling away on the timber frame. This morning has predominantly been working on these little details. So I did a little arch on the bottoms of these. They should fit in there pretty good. I just strapped them in, as you can see. Oh, pulling out there, I thought it was gonna... So you can kind of see where the joints go together, how that all works. That one is fitting into this pocket with a little shoulder. This one has a little pocket there. First time attempting pegs. Official second attempt. <clears throat> First attempt, I took this peg, I made this on the table saw, one inch. I have a one inch hole that I'm going into. <clears throat> I got terribly stuck. Anyways, it seems a little tricky to get the, the peg in there. I'm gonna try and do it again. Second attempt on the king post. Oh. No. Well, that's a little tricky. Please don't do that again. Please don't do that again. Please keep going. Okay, 0 for 2. Attempt number 3. Oh. Please tell me it's through. It's not. It's not through. Just need an inch. That's all I need. So, just hit it correctly. You made it through! Yes!
I thought this day would never come. It's ready for the move. Just gotta get the, te the telehandler over here. We're gonna roll it outside and we're gonna haul it about a mile down the road carefully to its resting, its final resting place. We did get it straight, uh, it's done. It was a little more top heavy than I thought uh, it was going to be. But thank goodness for the mountain man less. Alright, well don't worry, I'll get these loaded by myself. They're so heavy, You're doing such a good job. grand entrance but there's there's trucks in the way We're gonna start chopping them into pieces and turn this uh, this pile into hopefully some beautiful timbers. First time Les has ever uh, worked with timber frame type things before. So, oh, hold on, that was timber frame. That is timber frame behind the metal, and then there's a house back there that's also timber frame. So we got some experience. And I also am very concerned about what this is meant for. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that is, I don't know, it's a log cart. 1875 called, they want their log cart back. <laughs> it's a homemade log cart that I made years ago when I built the timber frame barn on the south side of the driveway. All right. 